Consider this black triangle. What does it mean to you? Do you feel nothing? Then perhaps it is your fault for not thinking deeply enough. Now, consider this black square. How about these three black squares? Wow, you really don't feel anything? You must be really shallow. Well, how about this sculpture of a giant piece of human feces? Surely, that must resonate within the walls of your every being. Has this great art not stirred your soul? Well, it's in a museum, so it must be important, right? Nope, it's just modern art. Wow, Ethan, great move. Keep it up, proud of you. Modern art was created in 1960 by the greatest artist that ever lived, Jackson Pollock. Pollock believed that art was just a bit of a goof and that artists have been trying too hard. Here is his most famous painting, A Bit of a Goob, and of course, his other masterpiece, A Dab Will Do Ya. People came to understand that art isn't supposed to mean anything. It's supposed to just confuse you and make you feel stupid. Pollock perfectly encaptured that with his famous masterworks. You see that way? There's like this one part in the corner where he like put the black paint inspired. Today we will explore modern art and all of its majesty from the oldest and greatest to the new and most bold. Join us today in modern art. You can see the three white canvases here have clearly made this young man feel very stupid and inadequate, making it a very profound piece of modern art. In the room still at 73 million, 74 million, 75 million. These were later sold at auction for $95 million, another great sign of true artistry. Nick, your bidder at $95 million. I wanted to make someone else feel stupid for a change and to make a million dollars doing it. So I headed off to the MoMA here in New York City to learn from the best. This is the first piece I noticed. What impressed me is the absolute depth of it. Two bracelets sitting on a counter filmed in VHS? Breathtaking. This piece is entitled, I Really Don't Give a Shit, and it shows. It sold for $2 million, which definitely left me feeling quite stupid and confused. What specifically did I learn from this piece? Looking old increases the value of art. Here's the second piece I noticed. It's rocks under glass. That's it. It's just, it's just rocks in glass. This piece was commissioned for the price of $200,000. And if you ask me, money well spent. This piece is entitled, This is Art? Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Cool. And what did we learn from this piece? As long as it's behind glass, it's art. This artist here took pieces of a phone book and framed them all on the wall, fulfilling the two things that we've already learned behind glass and look old. Let's try to call one of these numbers up and see if it's real. Oh my God, it is real. This has got to be worth so much money. This piece is entitled, all I did was frame some phone book pages and now I'm in the MoMA. And what did we learn this time? Take something that already exists and resell it as art. At the end of the day, I was no closer to making a million dollars from art. I felt overwhelmed, frustrated, and confused. <coughs> it felt like the harder I tried to understand it, the further from the actual truth I was. But then, it hit me, like a can of paint. The answer was within myself the whole time. I just wasn't brave enough to see it yet. I'm 
the beanie guy. What old crap do I have? Sentimental, but meaningless to anyone but me. True art requires sacrifice and letting go of the things that you love. Goodbye, old friend. It always had to be you. It's all been worth it. It's all been worth it. And I do it again. What I've learned is that no rules apply, except for the one about glass. That one is very important. One thing's for certain, if you don't make a million dollars, then it's not art. And that's why I'm sending this video out to Martin Scarelli, Kanye West, President Barack Obama, any eccentric millionaire out there, because if you don't buy this art, it's meaningless. If I can't humiliate, confuse, and make other people feel dumb, then what is the point of making art at all? Please help me make this beanie a national treasure by purchasing it for one million dollars. Thank you so much. The link to eBay is in the description.